You want to find the limit as x and y approach 0, 0 of x, y over the absolute value of x times y. Okay, let's look at the path here. y equals kx, where k does not equal 0. And we're just going to replace y with kx. Multiply it out. We have kx squared over the absolute value of kx squared. And this is where we have to be careful because whenever you take the absolute value of k here, you're not leaving it as positive k because it really depends on whether k is positive or negative. So we're just going to leave, uh, we're going to bring out the absolute value as well. And then we're going to have absolute value of x squared left. Well, it doesn't matter whether I have absolute value or not x squared is always going to equal to the absolute value of x squared because x squared is always greater than or equal to zero and so is the absolute value of x squared. So these are going to cancel and I'm left with k over the absolute value of k and for that it really depends on what k is. So if k is negative the absolute value of k will just be negative k and then you have k over negative k gives me negative one but if k is positive, absolute value of k is k, and the limit there is 1. So in that case, you get different limits depending on what the value of k is, so therefore the limit doesn't exist.